Okay, here's, I'm at the top, and it's been 50 years since I was here. Wow. And I came up here and looked at an avocado orchard, as I've said, and I don't remember any of these vehicles. I'm sure they weren't here. No, the and there was sure has them up here. Right. Yeah. And there was a guy named Doug Richardson. Some of you might know him. He was 20-something years old, young guy, living in a trailer there, taking care of the property. And I do remember, you know, once you don't look, you get here, and then you look, and you see this. Just incredible view. And what are those, uh, like, mobile home things? Or yeah, it's a pretty Modular bad. homes, yeah, care take. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah. You know, it's been added on, too. I so, think that's where the caretaker lives. So you say one person owns all of it? One person, yes. After the landslide in La Conchita, the second one, uh, I think it was 2006. Five, uh, 2005. 2005, right. There was Big. a major litigation. I remember all that. Involving the corporation that owned this. And uh, they lost, and so they walked away from it. Right. And the rancher that currently has it, he is a big contractor. He does roads infrastructure work, a lot of dirt work. I'm just in your voice. Yeah, that's right. And he thought he could handle it. And so he came in here and took it over and he installed a bunch of French drains and really takes care of the water runoff. And there's been no problems in La Conchita since he took over. Right. Everybody respects him and likes him. Well, yeah, he's a diplomat. He's doing his homework. He's doing everything he can to stabilize yes, he is. the area. Uh -huh. And I heard somewhere, I think Ventura County got sued because they built some kind of a wall down there. Yeah, they built a the, wall down and, there. Yeah, which trapped the water. Trapped the water, and they didn't put any any um, Drain. drainage holes. Yeah. And then they didn't remove it when there was a problem. What they thought was the slide, according to what their geologists were telling them, the slide would just go right over that wall. Well, yeah. The slide didn't. It directed all that mud and energy in a yes. one direction. And it caused even more damage. This all sounds exactly right in what I've read in the past. And yes. you can research the whole thing. But uh, let's see. God. But he couldn't own all that over there. I think he owns 700 and something acres. But look at that palace up there. Uh, that I don't know. And and do the, it, they must get to that some other way. Uh, well, there are a couple of roads. I think there's a back road. Off, uh, to to the west of to the northwest of here, off one fifty or something. I think, and then there's another road to the southeast of here. Yeah, because like the tower people, you know, they have to go there by helicopter. And you see, if you look to your right, there's a road down there, and that connects. Really? And goes down to the 101, right? So oh no, kid! So there's another way down to 101 right there. Yes. And is that any good at all? It is. It, that's how I think that's how this rancher comes it, to. Is from. that also gated off? I believe so. Wow. I'm talking to a gentleman who's uh, third. He's been USC, 1983 grad, and his father and grandfather. My gran grandfather, grandfather, and uh, my father and my uh, nieces and nephews, and I have one son that may end up going to graduate school there. Wow. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get that Porsche. <laughs> ah, right. He's paying for all of it. Well, that's so interesting. I'll stop this now so we can just relax. Okay. Yeah. Thanks.